wonder, as Christmas gets that bit closer and the shopping centres that bit busier, are you ready for Christmas? What are your expectations? The shepherds had a powerful encounter with an angel who spoke about a king that was to be born. And as shepherds, they had a responsibility towards their sheep, protecting them, keeping them safe, and fending them off from any wild animals that would otherwise do them harm. You know, it says in Luke 2, 8 to 20, a portion of the Bible, and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I will bring good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them gone into heaven, the shepherds said to another, Let's go to Bethlehem, that this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about his child, and all those who were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Then Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Except, so that's the passage from the scriptures, and then it says, except they were left, they had to go and see a king. Except babies can't even smile or raise their head. They had a promise and the potential of who that baby could be. Would you pause everything that was dear to you to see a king that needed assistance to burp? Some of us are baby people and others are not baby people. What gave them the strength to leave their profession and comfort in search of a king? It was an encounter. And whilst more people look at a baby Jesus in that classic nativity scene, it's less about the baby and more about what Jesus would accomplish in his lifetime that would split history in two. The shepherds were prepared to travel across great distances. The Bible says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. Do you want an encounter with Jesus this Christmas? An encounter that would change your life? If so, ask the Lord to show you more and help you along your journey. Seek, have a look around, ask a Christian friend, perhaps pop into a carol service and ask the Lord to change your life and show more of himself to you. Amen. Do you have an expectation that Jesus will show himself to you this Christmas? Mm-hmm.